Hello, 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 my name is Everything Explained, and today we're going to be taking a look at a black girl who was arrested at a school in Hawaii over a drawing that upset a parent. And if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to talk about next in the comment section. And uh, we're going to check out this article a bit really quick, and then we'll check out the video. And CNN is reporting that the American Civil Liberties Union of Hawaii is demanding a policy changes after a 10-year-old black girl was arrested at school over a drawing linked to a run-of-the-mill dispute among children. Excuse me. In response to the incident, the ACLU sent a letter Monday to the Honolulu Police Department, the State Department of Education, and the State Attorney General's Office asking them to adopt policy changes, expunge all records of the arrest, and to pay $500,000 in damages for harm and suffering causes by their agencies. In January 2020, a parent called the Hanawi Elementary School in Honolulu to complain about the drawing made by the girl and demanded the staff call police, the ACLU said. When police arrived, the girl, who was only identified as N.B., was handcuffed with excessive force and taken to the police station, the ACLU says. That is outrageous. I'll talk about how I feel about this in a moment, but let's check out this video. The ACLU and an attorney for the family says the 10-year-old black girl's rights were violated when she was detained and questioned without her mom, then handcuffed and brought to jail without being charged with a crime. I mean, that's just straight up wrong. and and. There's nothing that condones or, or justifies that. The girl identified as NB, who has ADHD, participated in drawing an offensive sketch of another Honovai Elementary School student in response to being bullied. The next day, a parent of one of the kids who received this drawing was very upset and essentially demanded that they call the police. We asked to see the drawing, but were denied. We don't want it to be about the drawing. This is about a 10-year-old girl, black girl, who was arrested. Uh, and, and you know, I, 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 there was no reason to believe that she was violent. She didn't bring any, any weapons to school. She didn't, you know, make any explicit threats to anyone. Tamara Taylor, the girl's mother, was called to campus. She says officers told her that they were negotiating with the parent about the matter involving her daughter and that she wasn't allowed to speak with her. NB should have been allowed to be with her parent, who was sequestered in another room in the same school at that very at that very time as uh, police officers were interrogating 10 year old NB. Taylor says she was not allowed to leave the room and did not know that at the time her daughter was being handcuffed and taken by patrol car to the Pearl City Police Station. The HPD followed the proper protocol but we must remember that the DOE is the complainant in this in this situation. They, they're the ones that called HPD. HPD must act on the complaint levied by the school, and that's why the child was taken uh, into technical custody to the station, then released to her parents. Based on comments by the officers that day, the ACLU says they believe she was brought to the station because she wasn't taking the situation seriously after she made a comment wondering what jail would be like. And for the consequence to be getting handcuffed because you expressed yourself in a way that maybe um, you didn't realize uh, offended someone or, or harmed someone else. That is not the solution. The ACLU demands the DOE and HPD adopt policies like forbidding staff to call police unless imminent threat of significant harm is presented and to consult with the school counselor before calling. They also want it mandatory for a parent or guardian to be present when a minor is being questioned. Those kind of things should happen and we get resolved at the school level because, uh, again, the pipeline to prison is not a good methodology. Absent an actual threat, the school should try and work out maybe a better way, a better path for the child. The DOE has said it does not have a comment in response to the letter. HPD says it's working with city attorneys to address the allegations. The city and state have until November 8th to respond to the ACLU. Jelani Martinez. Okay, so um, just some real quick thoughts of mine. I think that that was insane for them to contact the police over a drawing. I remember when I was in elementary school, 
I remember, I remember fist fights, people having food fights even in the lunchroom. I remember actually a kid, like a long time ago, a kid bought some cologne and like a, a lighter and was like making the blowtorch and he just got like in school suspension for that. So it's just crazy to see how the world's changing. And I mean, for them to be like aggressively arresting a 10 year old and then also not letting the not letting her have her parents at her side when she's being questioned. I think that's illegal and I really don't agree with that. She's a minor. She's 10 years old. I, I just think that's disgusting of whichever Honolulu Police Department arrested her. Um, especially for them to use force, they're try they were trying to say that she was being sarcastic or making jokes about jail. But again, she she's ten years old. Like you're not dealing with a grown up. This is not an adult. This is not someone who's cognitively developed. But again, um, I just hope that she does get justice and um the 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 policy change that they're trying to enforce is actually pursued upon and um. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens, but this this is disgusting. That is a ten year old child, and just just with everything going on in the world, I I just think it's outrageous that you would even call the police over a drawing. The child had no weapons. There was no act of violence. But again, we'll keep an eye on the situation. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like subscribe. Let me know what you may talk about next in the comment section. My name is Everything Explained, and I will catch you in the next one.